Hi, I'm David Brevnick with the Brevnick Fishing Team, and today we're going to do part one of our Nearshore Bait Series. This, this series of baits on this channel is going on for a little while, and we've been doing inshore and pier and surf baits already, and we're going to have lots of new information coming your way. And this Nearshore video about bait is going to be several parts because there's really a lot to know about bait Nearshore. And also, I want to make sure you guys are able to learn the most out of each and every video. So we're going to break them up, that way you can learn everything there is to know about your shore bait. So today we're going to be talking about the shrimp, the fiddler crabs, and some pilchards and thread fins, and maybe pinfish. We'll see how we're doing on time. So I know as you don't really catch shrimp off, sh off I mean near shore, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to buy it. Same thing with fiddler crabs and crabs too, like regular blue crabs. Sometimes you'll be able to catch them in the passes, depending on the time of year, but most of the time you probably have to end up catching them in a crab trap or even buying them. So let's talk about shrimp. So shrimp can be used to catch a very wide variety of fish. It can be used to catch grouper, snapper, a hogfish, trigger fish, triple tail on the crab traps. Shrimp can really catch a lot of things. And what I would recommend doing if you want to anchor or you want to drift and you want your base to go down to the bottom, here's some DMB chicken rigs, a three ounce and a two ounce. I'll have those links below in the description. Or if you want to go after grouper with some big shrimp or crabs, you can use this three ounce grouper rig, also snapper too, or this eight ounce grouper rig. The only difference is the hook is bigger on one of them than is the other, and the weight is bigger. And one is a hundred pound test main line, and the other is eighty pound. I mean leader. And they're very good, strong leaders. That's why I really like D&Bs because everything is just so good and high quality. So um, shrimp will really catch anything. Also, now let's talk about the fiddler crabs and like regular blue crabs. So like for crabs, you're gonna probably have to like sit at night, and if you have like a light, sometimes they'll come to you, and you can just scoop them up in the net, or you can just sit there and anchor. And as they come by with a long net, just scoop them up as they come by. So that's one way to do it. Um, fiddler crabs you have to buy because you can't really catch them near shore, unless you go on a go in like mangrove areas before you go fishing, or like around the little island, mangrove islands, or where there's sandy beaches, like with mangroves next to them. A lot of times that's where the fiddler crabs will be, and you can catch those by hand or whatever. But I normally buy my fiddler crabs and my shrimp and crabs. I normally end up catching in the passes or in a crab trap. So. What you could also use for those is the same rigs I just showed you, the DMB grouper rigs or the chicken rigs, high low rigs, whatever you want to call it. I'll have all this stuff linked below in the description. So now let's talk about our pinfish because it looks like we're gonna have enough time to talk about pinfish too, and then later right next we're gonna talk about threadfords and pilchards. So pinfish you can catch um, right off the beach, you can use a sabiki. They will buy bigger sabikis, but I recommend using the smaller sabikis. Uh, there's really no difference in these other than the price. One's a little bit more, one's a little bit less. And there's really not much of a difference, but pinfish are good bait for all kinds of stuff. Pinfish you can use for triple tail, you can use for grouper, snapper, um, maybe hogfish. You can use them for Spanish mackerel, a kingfish. Also, that's something I didn't like mention earlier, was that for a shrimp, big shrimp, you can use to catch tarpon and then also the crab you, you can use to catch tarpon off the beach too and then also pinfish you can use to catch tarpon and also something I forgot to mention just a few seconds ago about shrimp and crabs I mean just shrimp is you can also catch Spanish mackerel with them and that's a very good choice for Spanish mackerel so um, pinfish will catch kingfish I've never caught a kingfish with a pinfish but I have heard of people doing it and if I were to use any kingfish rigs it would be these DMB kingfish rigs these are for bigger baits these are eight inches apart but you could put on maybe two two baits on at once like a pinfish on the back or you could that way you could slow troll baits with these um, you could put one on the first hook and then one on the back treble these are stinger rigs one comes with a duster the other doesn't and I'll have those linked below in the description too and pinfish you can catch with a sabiki you can cast net them they're really a great bait to cat use anywhere and what you can also do is you can put a chum block out and they'll come right up to the chum block so that's a really good thing to know how to do and you can just pitch a sabiki back there with a lightweight 
or you could cast night item, however you prefer to do. So now let's talk about our pin fit. I mean, thread fins and pilchards. So thread fins and pilchards, you can sabiki them. Um, sometimes you'll see them in schools along the beach, and you'll be able to just cast night them. Um, you can also go where bridge pilings are, or other pilings or like structures, like the last markers as you go out of channel or shipping channel alt too. Also, you can catch pinfish there too, but also you can catch. Uh, pilchers and thread fins too. You can, you're gonna have to use these smaller sabikis. Rarely do they bite the bigger sabikis. It's not very common. But pilchers and thread fins are definitely a very abundant bait, and you can really catch a lot of them. And that's how you can really have a lot of fun near shore. And you can catch really a lot of fish. You can catch tarpon, grouper, snapper, kingfish, Spanish mackerel, bonitas. Really a lot, a very wide variety of baits will eat pilchers and thread fins and I haven't even said them all barracuda and so many more fish will eat those pilchers and thread fins and then also these are about eight inches apart like I might have said earlier these DMB kingfish baits and those are really good for if you want to catch toothy critters with so I like to use these for kingfish these are absolutely the highest quality rigs that are pre-made that I have ever used before and the reason I use them is because they're made the exact same way I would make my own rigs so it's kinda like do I want to spend the time making them no that's a lot of work because tying wire is really hard guys and it's not an easy task but all you have to do for these is you just have to bend the end a little bit and you can tie an Albright knot to your leader and you're good to go and also I don't like swivels on my kingfish rigs because I believe it will spook the kingfish from biting your bait so they're really smart for not having any swivels on it and that is why I absolutely love them you don't have to waste time cutting off a swivel also the wire is very stealthy and strong so the whole rig is just really well built and that is something I would use for my pilchers and thread fins too also for pilchers and thread fins you can put out a chum block and just drift or you could anchor and they will come up to chum block too as well so you could just use the light weight on a sabiki and pitch a sabiki out or you could you could cast them whatever your preferred method is just feel free to do whatever you want and also if you want to store your bait like pinfish or pilchers and thread fins you're gonna need like a bait pin to store them in so you can keep them there for a few days but our video about bait pins are coming up um, after we finish our near shore and offshore series or we might even do it a little bit before just because spring is coming and I know a lot of people like to start fishing in spring there is a lot you can fish all year in Florida but me personally I, I start storing bait in spring because that is when kingfish start running in my area so we might have a video before that um, DNB makes a really good custom made bait pin and it's very high quality and strong so I prefer to use DNB bait pins because they're so good and they are collapsible too so you can travel with them too so I'll have a link below of where you can buy a 47 gallon bait pin from them or where you can just email them and they can build you a custom bait pin so thanks for watching guys and then we're gonna have another video rolling out next week and until next time guys make sure to subscribe and like this video and hit the notification bell that way you don't miss any future videos thanks for watching guys and until next time